Hi all. Well I've had a change today, you can probably see the car isn't packed full of gear for a change. And I've made the arduous journey this morning in the beautiful winter sunshine from the south of Lancashire to Aylesbury in Buckinghamshire. And I'm here to see uh, a few gentlemen to talk about bait. So I've just driven through a patch of woodland and I saw a group of around 10 red kites hovering over the trees, enjoying the thermals in the sunshine. So that kind of made my journey. And I'll tell you something, to watch the mist rising over the fields this morning as I made my way down here, sort of made light of it because the traffic as usual was horrendous. But anyway, let's go and see what's going on. Right, we're gonna take a stroll over here. You're gonna come with me. And we'll find out what this is all about. At least they're open. Five star bait. Right, let's see what's up here. There we go. There's Jay, the gaffer. Hello. You alright? And Darren, chief manufacturer. Nice little spread. Right, I've got Leon with me here, he's one of the field testers. Hiya. You alright mate? Yeah, good thanks, how are you? Good, good, after that long journey. Now Leon's going to tell us all about the range, aren't you mate? Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. We've got uh, four boilies in the range at the moment. The first one that you're looking at right here is the fish mix. Uh, this is a, a peach and pepper kind of uh, flavour, if you like. It's got 13 powders, one of which being Robin Red, which is where it gets its colour from. Uh, there's several liquids in this uh, boily range as well. Uh, we've also got the nuts, which is another boily in the range. This is a nut-based mix and also has condensed milk and coconut flavourings. Nice. It's a good all-round, uh, good all-year-round bait, but it's very popular with the guys during the winter months. Like it. Next along, we've got the craze. This is the newest bait to the range made from a crayfish meal base mix and liquid crayfish flavouring which gives it a very meaty natural smell. This one was trialled by several team members and uh, it was very successful which is why it's made it to the to the to the range. We've also got another boilie in the range which is called Illusion. This is a monster crab and uh, Indian spice flavour. This is a crab meal base mix, along with those ingredients. Excellent. All the boilies in the range are available as standard in 12, 15 and 18 mils. Um, you, can, you can get other sizes available to order. So some guys like 10 mils, some like a slightly bigger boilie if they're going to France or somewhere, somewhere like that to yeah. avoid nuisance fish. Um, and also, Every flavour is available as a dumbbell, pop-up, wafter. You can get bait soaks, dips, hardened hook baits, pellets, pastes, all to match the flavour that you want to fish with. So the, the possibilities are endless. Oh, look at these, they're tiny, aren't they? Yeah. Brilliant. 
These are the pop-ups and wafters in the range. They're available in, as you can see, yellow, white, orange and pink. And they're also available to match the colour of the bottom bait that you may use, so Super. to match the hash style. Yeah. Um, available in three sizes as standard. Um, the good thing about it is you pick your colour, you pick your size, and then you pick the flavour that you want them to be from this massive selection of flavours. So you've That's got That's original, again, isn't it? The, the matching the hatch flavours at the yeah. top there, so you can have the fish mixer and nuts, or you could mix it up a little bit and have a bit of each. That's a brilliant um, idea. We've got pineapple, chocolate, aniseed. Mm -hmm. So again, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, absolutely. Right, Leon, thanks a lot, mate. Oh, you're welcome. Right, and that's all, folks. Back to the car. Well, what do you make about that then? A cracking bunch of lads, and what a great setup they've got in there. Excellent range of baits. I think we might have a look over at Linear while, uh, while I'm doing nothing else, whilst I'm in this neck of the woods. Right, well, I've just landed at Linear, and whilst I was on my way here, I began to realise the extent of the flooding, which uh, I haven't seen that much of where I live, although it does rain a lot, trust me. So we'll just have a little look around, shall we? Right, as you can imagine, all is quiet today because the entire complex is closed due to the flooding. We'll talk about that in a minute. But in the meantime, if I take you down this aisle where all the bait is, all the way down here, what do we have here? If you come in here, make sure you don't miss this. Five star baits. Little pop ups. There's all the juice. And more. I've just been ch chatting to Carl, who's on his own today. The Christmas tree's up. It's a bit early for me, but there you go. And I'm going to get a nice copper out of that machine there. But first... Now then. This is why the complex is closed. You remember me and Pete sitting here earlier this year. Well, the water is literally right up to here. Right up to the shop. It is actually, it's literally right up to the shop. So the float pond is gigantic. There's Manor. So the bank is somewhere out there. So this might help you realise why the entire complex is closed, because I'm sure this is just the tip of the iceberg. Look at that. right up to here goodness me but I understand from Carl that provision is in place and all will be well after the floods so there won't be any losses because last time around I think lessons were learned so everything will be in order that's excellent news let's go and have that copper So that is the end of today's visit for Linear. Just have a quick look around the corner. We'll take a look at the car park there and the path around there. See where the water is. It's literally here. <laughs> Goodness me. Goodness me. about that then. Right, I suppose I'd better get back in the traffic. Catch you later. <laughs>